Alrighty, so I finished building my website. Well, I guess it's not really finished, but I at least published it. And it is out on the interwebs now um, at binawad.com. And I built this using Gatsby. And originally, my plan for this video was to do be just like a walkthrough of how I actually coded it um, to put it up here. But then I spent about like 30 minutes going through it or so. Um, and I was maybe like 10% done and I felt like well I didn't really do a whole lot for this website and so I kind of scrapped the idea this is a super minimal website I tried to like strip a lot out um, and I felt when I was just going coding through and I was like dang there is a lot of stuff that I kind of a lot of stuff that I configured and did for this but there's just not a whole lot of the outcome so anyway, what I decided to do instead is just kind of share a few thoughts I had when I was making this and I was checking out Gatsby. So the first thing, let's check out what the website itself is. And like I said, I went with something super minimal because I always um, never use my website at all. I, the chances of me actually blogging on here are very low. Um, I do want to write like a couple articles though of questions I always get so I can link them. Um, but the likelihood of this being redesigned uh, was very high, so I was like, all right, we're doing something super simple. So it didn't take me a while to set this up, and I mostly did it because I wanted to kind of check out Gatsby again. Um, so here's the first part. This is just kind of like a little about section that I set up, um, and then the other part is kind of just uh, the list of posts. And you can see, this is it. This is the whole entire thing. Uh, then I click on Vim, and this is a Vim post, which I still need to write, but it, it just has uh, embed. I don't know if I'm actually going to write a post for that, um, but I'm going to put like the tools that I use and stuff, kind of my frequent questions that I get I'm going to put up on here. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, but the first thing I wanted to mention about this is, oh, also I guess we should mention this first. I put it up on GitHub. Uh, if you want to see what the source code for it, it is here. Uh, so binawad.com is the repo. Now for this, I decided to actually just go with just JavaScript. Now, I know this is probably shocking to a few of you because I am super hyped on TypeScript for pretty much everything um, and really any size project. And I would probably be okay doing TypeScript for this too, but I was like, I'm gonna spend so little time on this blog, I kinda wanna just get it out there. Um, so you can just actually have something and be done with it that I was like, um, setting this TypeScript up with Gatsby seemed kind of non-trivial um, and there was a few kind of things I had to do so I was like not worth learning at this time I'm gonna come back to it um, and just do JavaScript for this so I decided to do JavaScript for it so that's what's happening there there is a really nice TypeScript starter um, for Gatsby a boilerplate that I saw on Twitter that I really liked um, so I'll link that below if you are interested in TypeScript and Gatsby I thought this one looked really nice, and if I was doing a TypeScript project, I would use that one. Um, okay, so what I ended up doing um, for this is actually pretty much just taking the Gatsby starter blog and stripping stuff out of it, um, and then simplifying it, and then this was kind of the output. But one thing I was actually really surprised by um, was just how much stuff you can actually put into a Gatsby blog. Um, or just a website. Gatsby has so much customization. There's so many plugins and stuff that you can just jam a whole bunch of stuff um, inside of a blog. And originally what I was gonna do was go with this template. Um, just based off of the thumbnail, I thought it looked pretty nice. Um, the split of it, the look of it. Um, but then when I actually dived into the code and I downloaded this starter, and what a starter is, is it just boilerplate code to get you started. It's got a whole bunch of stuff in it. It was it felt like way overkill. Um, Gatsby's definitely overkill for this website for sure. Um, but I wanted to check it out. One of the cool things I thought um, was this image right here. If I refresh, see how it did a progressive load of it? I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but this is just some of the features. And if you actually dive into the code for this star, there's just a lot going on for a blog. 
that I was like, uh, pass on that. Uh, so I decided to go with this one. Um, I'm not sure if the rest of them are just like this, but just the thing I n just remembered going back through this is, wow, does Gatsby have quite, I would say, a learning curve for a blog and for building a website. Like it has a lot of stuff going on, um, which from you know a programmer point of view, I like all the customization and the advanced things I can do with it. Um, but I think before, like if you're just getting started with Gatsby, um, I feel like their tutorial looked really nice, but there's like this in-between gap between before you know what you're doing and a lot of this stuff looks super foreign. Um, just like looking at the GraphQL queries and uh, this helped a lot. I love the new Explorer. Um, without this, I think it would, ooh, got a little bit of a off the page issue. Without this, this little guy right here, I don't think this would be half as um, easy to get started with because now I can just kind of like click on site and all right, I want to click on this and I can run my thing really easily and I can just check these off and it changes the GraphQL query. If you haven't seen this before, this is really nice. I should really start using this Explorer um, for some of my projects because I like how easy it is to just write out the GraphQL query this way. So this is really nice. Enjoy this part of Gatsby that they include this. I believe. Um, I think it's called one graph that created this if I remember correctly. Um, so I enjoy that. This is my first time really using this, uh, style of graphical, but there's a lot of junk in here. Well, not junk. There's a lot of useful things, but just because they are allowing you to customize like everything, um, there's a lot of possibilities. Like if you look at all these fields, this was really daunting and it took a while for me just to wrap my head around what all this stuff was that I had access to. And we can go in and we can see all the fields and stuff that all Markdown gives us. And then there's this all directories and there's all files. And to go through all this and try to figure out what all it is, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, so I thought that was a good and bad thing. I thought it was great for, all right, now that I like kind of getting up to speed and feeling good about Gatsby, Look at all this stuff I have access to and I can customize. Like I thought that was really cool. Um, but that's one thing I'm worried about with Gatsby actually, if I was gonna give this to somebody, I actually wouldn't, um, I don't know if I would give this to like just a newbie uh, person that wanted to get their blog up and running. I think this is definitely a more advanced tool. Um, and with that said, I think this looks really nice for more complex um, use cases of static websites, I think this would be great for. So I'm excited to use Gatsby more um, and plan on basically probably extending my blog a little bit more from this probably at some point uh, and then actually start building some like applications that are not just static stuff and integrating it in because it looks like it has a lot of potential and a lot of flexibility, which I liked. Um, so yep, that was my experience with Gatsby and uh, I will probably be spending some more time with the framework and be doing some more with it. Uh, so we'll see you guys then.